All right, guys, today we're gonna do another wound of focus workout. All right, this one's gonna be inner thigh, okay? So we're really gonna hit those inner thighs heavy. We're gonna start in a first position stance. So we want those feet in a little V, okay? So not all the way turned out. We want just that little V. Heels are glued together. All right, we're gonna bring those hands into prayer position. We're gonna press through those palms so that we light up the shoulder, the chest, and the mid back. From here, we're gonna focus on full range of motion. So we're gonna exhale, bend both knees. Inhale, zip up those inner thighs. Exhale, bring it down. So we're focusing right here on staying upright. Sternum over pubic bone. So we're nice and aligned. That belly button is pulled up and in. Good, and every time we draw those inner thighs up and in on that lift, good, it's an inhale. We exhale as we bend those knees. Inhale, zip up those inner thighs. Last four. Good, you've got three. Keep pressing those palms together. Good, last two. Good. On your next one, you're going to hold that plie nice and low. So from here, we're going to keep pressing those palms together as we releve and draw those heels up off the floor. So we're on the balls of the feet. Find your balance. From here, we're going to butterfly and spiral those inner thighs. Okay, so you're thinking about those sitting bones. Okay, at the center of the glute, those sitting bones get further apart as you draw the inner thighs together. So those sitting bones are separating right here. As we open up the inner thighs, the sitting bones get closer together. Good, hold it there. Good, I know balance is tricky here. Keep drawing that core nice and tight. Good, we're here for four. Good, last three. Lots of intentional movement right here. Good, last two. Good, on the next one, you're gonna lower those heels, come all the way up out of this. Now, reset, because we're gonna find that plie one more time. We're gonna exhale, bend both knees. Good, keeping that sternum over pubic bone. We're gonna take that right leg and we're gonna sweep it up and out so that right toe is pointed, inner thigh is shining up towards the ceiling. We're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. So it's a little drawing up of the inner thigh. Good, keep pressing those palms together to get a little activation through that upper body. Good, core is nice and tight. Good, this should feel a little shaky here. We're isometrically holding a plie on that left leg. Good, you're here for four. We're gonna take that leg and we're gonna do some other movements. Last three. Good, you've got two. On the next one, you're gonna take that leg, we're gonna cross the midline for a little toe tap and bring it back and tap to center. Good, bring it across the midline and then it's coming straight off the hip. Good, little cross of the midline. So you'll feel that inner thigh light up as you cross the center of the body. Good, holding it here, isometrically holding that left leg is getting it too, right? Good, that stabilization through that left leg fires that up, last four. Good, you've got three. Good, last two. Good, on your next one, you're gonna bring it back straight off the hip. We're gonna hold that lift, and now we're gonna bend the knee, toe towards the knee, and bring it all the way back out, reaching that inner thigh out the big toe, finding lots of length through that leg. Inner thigh is still spiraled up towards the ceiling. Good, keep pressing those palms together. Hold that isometric plie on the left. You're here for four. Good, last three. Good, you've got two. We're coming into a wide second plie. Good, on your next one, folding that in and bring it all the way back up. All right, from here guys, we're gonna step out into that wide second plie. So toes are turned out at that 45 degree angle. Knees are tracking over big toe, second toe. Make sure those feet are flat on the floor. Now, hands can come to the hips for this work or for additional cardio, we can bring them up and overhead. We're gonna spiral those inner thighs and lift those heels. So the right heel is gonna start, inner thigh spirals towards the ceiling. Exhale, set it down. Inhale, spiral that left inner thigh. Good, so now it's the job of that inner thigh to spiral up towards the ceiling to pick up that heel. Good, sternum is staying over the pubic bone. We're staying nice and upright in this plie. Good, keep opening those inner thighs. That's where that depth comes from. Tailbone is pointing straight down towards the floor. You've got this for four. Good, last three. Good, you've got two. 
All right, the next time you have that left heel lifted, we're gonna keep it lifted. And now we're just gonna take that little pulse through that plie. Little one inch up and one inch down. Good, slow and controlled. Okay, so think about opening up those inner thighs, that knee tracking over your second toe to get that pulse, to get that depth. Good, core is nice and tight. Good, that left heel is lifted. It's staying right there for four. We're gonna move on to that right. Last three. Good, you've got two. On the next one, you're gonna hold it low. Set that left heel down. Let's spiral that right inner thigh. Pick up that right heel. Little pulse, same thing. Little pulse. Good, keeping that core tight. Good, if those arms up and overhead are becoming too much, you bring them down to your hips. Focus on those inner thighs. That intentional focus right there. Good, we're here for four more. We're gonna go both heels. Last three. Good, last two. On the next one, guys, holding it low. Keep that right heel lifted. That left heel is gonna join it. Same thing, little pulse. Little pulse. Good, find your balance. Legs should be shaky here. Mine are shaky. Last four. Three. Good, last two. Don't go anywhere. Try not to roll through that ankle. Hold it low. We're gonna do a little butterfly. So that intentional movement of keeping or getting those sitting bones closer together. Okay, so think about that movement in the body, opening those inner thighs a little bit deeper. Stay low. You're here for four. Last three. Good, you've got two. We're gonna set those heels down, bring it all the way up. Let's step those feet back together. Now we're gonna turn and face the mat. Okay, we're gonna come all the way down into a plank. So arms come up and overhead. We're gonna exhale, round down towards the mat. Let's walk ourselves all the way out into a plank position. From here, my feet are gonna come into first position again. So inner thighs are spiraled towards the mat. We're gonna breathe into the back of the ribs. Exhale, take a little froggy bend through those knees. Press those hips back. Inhale, reach it forward back to your plank. Zip up those inner thighs. Exhale, inner thighs open. Now, in this position, you can still think about those knees tracking with big toe, second toe. So we don't wanna open up those knees too wide and keep those heels glued together. Good, let's go for four more. This is a transition point right here. Last three, because we're gonna be coming down onto the mat, doing some sideline work. Last two, good, pressing back. Good, coming all the way forward on that inhale. Last one. Good, bring it all the way back. Now let's spiral those legs back to parallel. We're gonna take one step down onto our forearms and we're gonna roll onto our left side. From here, bring those hips all the way down onto the mat. Okay, now you're gonna stay on your left forearm. My right leg is gonna bend and that right foot is gonna come in front of the left leg. Pointed leg lifts through that left leg. So we're gonna lift and lower. This is gonna be really small. Good, you guys, keeping it right here. Lots of control through that inner thigh. Good, finding that little lift. Don't expect the leg to go super high. It's not gonna go super high. Good, you're here for four. Last three. Good, last two. Intense movement right on that inner thigh. Good, on the next one, set that leg down. Now that right leg is gonna come behind the left leg. We're gonna take that left leg forward and flex the foot. So now my left leg is at a 45 degree angle. Right foot's planted nice and solid on that mat. We're gonna lift and lower. Lift and lower. So we're leading with that inner thigh. Think of the inside of the ankle reaching up towards the ceiling. Foot is nice and flexed. Okay, that leg should get shaky at the top of the movement. Good, you've got four more here. Last three. Good, you've got two. On your next one, we're gonna hold. We're gonna hold that lift. From here, we're gonna point and flex. Point and flex. Keep reaching that inner thigh for the ceiling. Good, on that point, reach that inner thigh right out the big toe. Flex, lead with that heel. Good, you've got to keep that lift going. Don't let that leg drop. You're here for four. And last three. Good, you've got two. 
on your next one, you're gonna lower that leg all the way down. Now we're gonna bring those legs back right off the hip. We're gonna transition up onto our palm, our left palm, pressing up into a side plank. We're gonna keep that right foot down on the floor. Okay, now my left knee is gonna bend. We want knees in line with one another. Right arm up to the ceiling, and now that left inner thigh is gonna open and close. Open and close like a little door. Good, staying lifted out of that left shoulder. Good, core, that belly button's pulled up and in, so that core is engaged the whole time. Good, you've got this. You should feel both inner thighs right here. We've got four. We've got a little hold, last three. Good, you've got two. On the next one, you're gonna hold that inner thigh lifted for six, five. Good, last four. Woo, everything's shaking, last three. Good, you've got two. Good, lengthen it all the way down. Now we're gonna come back into a plank. So we're back onto our palms, back into that first position. We're gonna come into those little froggy bends again as a transition point. So we're gonna reach those hips up and back. Good, opening up those inner thighs. Inhale, lengthen and zip those inner thighs together. Exhale, knees are still tracking with big toe, second toe as we open up those inner thighs. We're reaching back from that seat crease, those sits bones reach back for the heels, and then we lengthen out on that inhale. Last four. Good, lots of breath in between those shoulder blades. Last three. Good, you've got two more. Good, last one. All right, now from here, those knees are gonna go down. We're gonna swing onto that other side and do those, those inner thigh lifts. So now, my right forearm is down on the mat, right elbow underneath that shoulder, my left foot is planted down in front of my right leg. Right toe's gonna point, and now we're gonna lift and lower. I'm on the pinnacle of that right hip. Okay, so that inner thigh, it's not gonna be a big gigantic lift, it's gonna be small. Okay, but I really want you to find that engagement from the low belly and that inner thigh. Really small lift. It should feel shaky when you get to that top range of motion right there. Good, you've got it. Staying lifted up out of that right shoulder. Nice and controlled. Good, belly button's pulled up and in towards that spine. Good, you've got four. Last three. We're gonna go into that angle, those angled inner thigh lifts. Last two. All right, on the next one, hold that leg down there. That left leg is gonna come around to the back of the right leg. Now, right leg is gonna come forward at that 45 degree angle, and now our foot is flexed. We're gonna lead with that heel, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lots of focus on that inner thigh right here, so you're gonna get a bigger range of motion. I want you to find that big lift. You're gonna think about that inner thigh reaching right out the heel. Lots of length. We're staying lifted out of that right shoulder. We don't want to collapse there. Good. That left foot is nice and flat on the floor of that bent leg. Good. You got this. Good. You've got four more. It should feel pretty shaky by now, especially when you hit your full range of motion. Last three. Good. You've got two. On your next one, you're gonna hold that inner thigh lift. Hold it up there, it should be shaky. We're gonna point and flex. Point and flex, good. Keep reaching that inner thigh right out the heel and then right out that big toe. Lots of length on that right leg. You've got four, good, don't let that leg drop. You've got three, stay lifted out of that right shoulder. Lots to think about, last two. Good, and bring that leg all the way back down. We're gonna bring those legs back together right off the hip. We're gonna come onto that right palm, okay? So we're lifting up into that high side plank. Now, my left foot is gonna stay on the floor. My right knee is gonna bend. So now my knees are lined up with one another. From here, that left arm can come up towards the ceiling. We're gonna open and close. Open and close. So like a little door, half that door is opening and closing. You should feel your left inner thigh, probably more than you feel your right inner thigh right now. Good, you've got it. Good, last four. Good, you've got three, we're coming into that hold. Last two. 
All right, on the next one, you're gonna hold it up there. We're holding and breathing. Everything is shaking. We're here for six. Last five. Good, you've got four. Last three. This is it. Last two. Good, bring that leg all the way back. Let's roll into a plank and walk ourselves all the way back up, guys. From here, we're gonna turn and come back into that wide second plie and we're ending right here, full range of motion. Bring those arms out to the side and back in. Good, inner thighs open. Good, this is it. Last four. Good, you've got three. Good, last two. On the next one, you're gonna hold that plie nice and low. Now we're just gonna pulse. Okay, so I want you to think about that intentional movement again. We're lifting those inner thighs up into that pelvic floor and low belly, drawing that belly button up and in. This is very small and very controlled. Okay, so we don't wanna bounce through the movement. Good, inhale, exhale as you lower. Good, everything is still shaking, right? We should have that really deep connection to the body at this point. We're here for four. Good, last three, last two, and bring it all the way back up, guys. All right, now coming out of that plie, we're just gonna wrap it up with an archetypal squat. Okay, so you're gonna turn those toes out to a 45 degree angle. They're just a little bit more than shoulder width apart. We're gonna lower down, hands can come to prayer. We're gonna lower down, reaching those inner thighs open. Okay, so they're still tracking with big toe, second toe. And now we're gonna use our elbows to open up those inner thighs just a little bit deeper. Now we don't wanna collapse into this. You wanna stay lifted through the core, lifted, those shoulder blades are down and around the ribs. Good, and we're breathing here. We're here for four. Good, last three, last two. And go ahead and bring yourself all the way up, guys. And you just finished another Wound of Focus workout. Nice job.